Arc Saw is back in America, or in North America, well actually they're in Canada, for the round of Edmonton, which is round 9 of the season 20, of the 25th season of the Arc Saw Elite Series. No hearts on our poll today, as uh, Vince Freeze alongside him, Jacob Hart in second. A lot of teams when they got back to America got some major technical upgrades, kind of like how Ferrari did going into Europe. Didn't really seem to help them in Monaco, but... Uh, a lot of teams got some big technical upgrades, so we're going to see how that affects some of the drivers on the track. Uh, and more importantly, um, you're going back to like Cody Lamas, our point leader, who is quite a ways down the order here. And uh, the cars around him, Vince Freeze, is way up the order as well. He's over a full race back, but he's second in points, so watch out for Vince Freeze today. Uh, but like I said, a bunch of cars got big technical upgrades. Uh, Ferraris are in the back, as are the FEI cars. Um, Roman Rahal's team actually got a bunch of technical upgrades as well. So let's go down to your starting grid. Noah Hart and Vince Freeze are on row number one here. It's going to be interesting because Noah Hart needs to get his championship back on course. Another t driver that needs to get his championship back on course is Jacob Hart. Hart has had a miserable start to the championship. Alongside of him is Zachary Fitzwater who uh, was the Daytona winner this year and finished second at Zandvoort. Madeline Mine and Eric Monaco are in row three. Both drivers have had flashes of brilliance, but haven't done much outside of that, or haven't had the luck to really close out races. Madeline Maya did win um, Mallory Park, however. DJ Curtis and Kenny Myatt, the first two winners of the year. Kenny Myatt still going for his 26th victory, which would uh, make him the all-time Arkansas Lead Series point leader. Right now he's tied for it with Nick Mace. In a car very similar to Nick Mace, we have point leader Cody Lamas. And alongside of him, we have Ryan Hopped. That will be a very interesting battle to see unfold there. That team got an upgrade. The Fusion Sport team did. Alex Spencer and Benoit Lothair Irvine are on the next row back as Red Bull's kind of falling off the cherry wagon a little bit here, or the turnip truck, whichever way you kind of go with it. Uh, Tim Fiegel and Nick Pericles are in the next row on the way back, so good to see both those two drivers um, kind of starting in the midfield. Pericles nearly uh, could have been a big threat at Monaco, but uh, blew up the car. Sean Perkins and Christian Vanderpesh are on the grid, a uh, little further up the grid here. That's going to be... Uh, uh, not a great starting spot for Perkins, because he's one of the top five in points. FNS and Fusion Sport have, were both the cars that saw the biggest upgrades, as Tauger is quite a ways up the grid right now. Good to see Tauger that far up the grid. Aiden Shepard and Tanya Jackwater, another FNS car, and a, the final of the Patronus cars on the grid there. Another team that had a big upgrade was the Red Stallion Racing Team. They're trying to get themselves out of the back of the field, so that's going to be interesting to see if that's going to be a possibility. Uh, and alongside of uh, Red, the Red Stallion car was the first of the Ferraris. Do it for Dale Jr. and Clara Irwin on the grid as well. Roman Rahal and Mean Ratzenberger. Tyler Saber and Maverick Force. And Kitsune Hashimoto are all rounding out the grid. So, what will happen for the round of Edmonton here on this uh, kind of temporary road course around an airport? Let's see what happens. So Noah Hart will lead the field down to the green here at this airport circuit. It reminds me a lot of the Cleveland Burke Lakefront track here. As uh, we're expecting this race to provide some pretty close racing, despite being probably the widest track in Arksar right now. So we're green flag right now. Looks like already Roman Rahal's out trying to make some moves on people. Great start by the two FBR boys. FBR had a really good qualifying run here around Edmonton. Very slow into the first corner. That's what they got to do in order to make sure that they uh, make it around this track cleanly as they go on to the uh, zigzag portions as they go from airport runway to airport runway. And here they go, down into the first of two hairpins on this track. They're still side by side. Noah Hart is going to, I believe, take the lead over from Vince Freeze, though. As here they go through this section of zigzagging corners uh, here on the back side of the course. As they're about to go back onto another runway. We got cars kind of sliding off the road there. That's uh, Rudavara and Jackwater there. Oh, Cody Lamas has a bunch of damage. The point leader does. Bunch of rear end damage. Somebody clobbered him, as did Jackwater. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute here. As the field kind of maneuvers their way around this track. Onto the um, straightaway that parallels the front stretch here. Noah Hart's got a big, big lead over uh, Vince Freeze here. Zachary Fitzwater runs third. 
Uh, Vince Freeze uh, probably needs this kind of a run to close in on Lamas, especially if Lamas is a bunch of damage on that car. As uh, we've seen so far, there's Cody Lamas. Oh, Shepard's got a lot of damage as well. Lamas is just now getting into the pits, as is Jackwater. So we're going to take a look. Oh, it looks like Ratzenberger might have been the cause of that. This is kind of a complicated accident. Kenny Myatt would get on the brakes here and kind of... Or actually, DJ Curtis would hit the back of Madeline Myatt, and that would cause a big stack up with Benoit Lothair Ravine, Cody Lamas, and a bunch of other cars a little further back had to scramble to avoid it. So yeah, they're coming down into this hairpin down here. And see, they're already starting to stack up towards the top of your screen, but everybody on the outside line starts beating and banging each other. They're almost, they're five wide coming off that corner there. A little further up the track. I'm surprised that didn't end in tears for some people. But yeah, a bunch of cars have damage now because people just didn't want to use their brakes. Noah Hart will continue to lead on lap number three here. Uh, coming to lap four here. Not a very long lap timer on this track. Only a minute 23. Second lap time here. They go through that uh, infamous hairpin again as Freeze now is trying to close in on Noah Hart. Freeze is very, very quick around this track here, and that's going to be a very interesting thing because uh, Vince Freeze you know, being second in points, especially with Cody Lamas right now outside of the points in 27th position. Oh, looks like we got another car on pit road, I thought I saw, or that might have been the pace car. My apologies there. Uh, with Lamas running 26th, I'm sorry. There might have been another car on pit road. Ooh, looks like, uh, I thought Turner got out of that without an accident, so we're going to take a look at that. Turner had some damage from that first lap contact, so that's what, uh, why Turner's got some, uh, doesn't have a hood right now. Oh, Maverick Force just grenaded the motor, and that's Force out of it. Fordale's coming in as well. Um, no cautions on, us on this track because it's a road course as Maverick Force is going to pull off to the side of the road. So, not a great start to the race for Maverick Force. And Cody Lamas is trying around the outside of Jesse Turner just to try and get a point here. Uh, he has now relegated himself up to 25th position, so that gives him a point, which is a good thing for him. Great start to the race for Roman Rahal. He's all the way fighting for 10th position right now. He had one of those inside runs there down at that hairpin past a whole heap of cars. So Roman Rahal's way into the points, so great showing by him, and he's setting some of the fastest laps of the race so far. Well, not the fastest laps, but uh, for the people that are around him, some pretty quick laps. As, uh, actually, Noah Hart's actually broken into the 121, so that's pretty impressive. As, uh, Alex Spencer's been all over the bat, has been all over the track trying to, uh, battle with Ray Hall here, so this is going to be a battle we're going to have to keep watching here as uh, they're coming down into one of the best passing zones on the course. It's, of course, that infamous hairpin, and it looks like Spencer isn't going to get close enough to make a move that time. However, Noah Hart would make a little bit of a mistake and not get a great run out of the corner here, and this is going to be the battle for the lead right now between Vince Freeze and Noah Hart. They're coming down to a hairpin. Hart actually clips the wall a little bit there coming out of the corner. And this is where, can Vince Freeze make the outside work? Freeze set some really quick lap times on hard here, about two tenths quicker a lap. Here they go, this is a very interesting move here, and Freeze actually gets the move done on the outside of a hairpin. Gets that run off the corner. We know that those uh, Ford Mustangs are more powerful off the corner than the Toyota is, so. Toyota's better in the corners, though, but the power that you can get off the corner is just fanatical. It's just fantastic with those Fords. So Vince Freeze to the lead of the race. However, Noah Hart would begin to crawl back, claw back that lead a little, or would be able to claw back Vince Freeze's lead a bit here. Hart does have a quick car, and there's a pretty good battle at the front of the field here between these two, so I'm interested to see what the strategy calls are going to be in this race. Eric Monaco is really clawing in uh, Zachary Fitzwater for third position, though, here. Uh, Fitzwater is not setting that quick of lap times here, although Monaco wasn't either that time. Uh, in fact, throughout the field, the fastest car has been... Um, where did Jacob Hart get a 124 if he was ahead of these drivers? But Okay, I think there might be a timing glitch on Jacob Hart's car, because I don't think Hart was that close. But, um... Zachary Fitzwater now is really looking at um, closing in, or I'm sorry, Eric Monaco's really closing in Zachary Fitzwater as the two leaders are basically gone right now. And they're having a thrilling battle at the front of the field. And we got another battle for the lead now. Here comes uh, Noah Hart back on the outside. 
or going to the outside of the hairpin. Will Hart be able to do the same move that Freeze was able to do down into this hairpin on the outside here? Remember, the outside can get a bit of a run off this corner if you've got the power to make it work. And now Hart gets the power off. However, it's not nearly as much as Freeze was getting. But now Noah Hart has recycled himself back to the lead of the race. And oh boy, look a little further back. You've got Monaco and uh, Fitzwater are right next to each other now, or right in front of each front tail, nose to tail right from each other. Look how close Jacob Hart got. Hart's going to take advantage. Oh, Jacob Hart got a really good run through that corner there, and he's going to try and take over fourth position here, but he's going to have the inside of a hairpin, and we're kind of seeing that the inside of hairpins isn't a good place, although actually he makes a move stick before the inside of a hairpin, so now Jacob Hart's going to try and reel in Zachary Fitzwater. There are a couple of Canadian drivers in this race. Uh, Clara Irwin uh, is a Canadian rookie, as was Maverick Force, but Maverick Force fell out of his home race. Um, Clara Irwin has had a miserable start to the season. There are concerns that, um, there are rumors that she might be replaced by somebody else in that team. Her teammate, Madeline Myatt, which actually that's kind of like a subset team because her car is actually a Nissan and not a Lexus. So she's not even really driving for Lexus Team Canada. She's actually driving for the subset that they're, they're alliance teams. But uh, Lexus Team Canada is kind of a weird one where they're kind of running two manufacturers at the same time. But um, they're running a Nissan and a Lexus. And right now, actually, the 41 was uh, her teammate beforehand. But they're really looking at Grace and Ace Vito to maybe jump in that car, another Canadian driver. Maybe a, trying to possibly get Sean Angel? That's always a possibility there. Especially if uh, his scheduling commit, or if his schedule, uh, previous scheduling conflicts uh, iron themselves out. So Clara Irwin has got to improve her uh, running position because right now she's in a situation where she is not going to be in a good, or where she is right now not performing very well and is kind of on the hot seat. Eric Monaco now has gone to the outside of Zachary Fitzwater. We'll also show you the pass that Jacob Hart put on Zachary Fitzwater here in a second. But um, actually inside now, Eric Monaco will take over fourth position. We'll get fourth back, but from a different driver. Here's probably the best passing zone on the track again. Jacob Hart goes to the outside of Fitzwater and puts his foot to the floor and uh, puts his gas pedal to the floor, and away he goes into, set, into third position. So great to see Jacob Hart in a position that uh, can do that. Noah Hart would begin to actually open up a little bit of a lead here to Vince Freeze. Once again, here is Jacob Hart is really closing in on the leading two, pulling away from Monaco and uh, Fitzwater here. Um, Jacob Hart's really quick right now. However, that big lead wouldn't last long as now Vince Freeze is clawing his way back here. So Vince Freeze and Noah Hart, they've been kind of going back and forth of who's the fastest car on the track right now, and that's going to be something very interesting to see as this race keeps going. And look at how close Vince Freeze can get on the brakes compared to Hart there. This has been a really good race at this front of the field. Kenny Myatt would bring it down uh, pit road here. He has some big left side damage, so we're going to take a look to see what happened to him. Yeah, Kenny Myatt was coming into the pits and then made a late decision here and kind of just drives into the side of the pit wall there and spins out on the pit road entrance, so... I hope that's not going to be a problem today. As a couple other drivers had to really slow down there. I don't know why, but they did. Coming out of the corner. By lap 16, Noah Hart would open up a pretty big lead back to Vince Freeze, and Jacob Hart had a really bad lap, which allowed Eric Monaco to start catching him because Monaco's running some really quick laps. This track is actually really, really racy. So I'm really happy that this track got added to the schedule last second. This was one of the last, this was the last track added to the schedule. So great to see Edmonton on this schedule because it is a very, very good race. Do it Fordale Jr. is holding up Noah Hart a little bit here. And that's allowing uh, Vince Freeze to catch up. However, unlike Monaco, this track is wide enough where you can make a move. You go from probably the narrowest road course in the world to one of the widest. So here comes... Uh, Noah Hart. Oh, Hart's got to go wide there, and that's going to really help Monaco out there. I'm sorry, not Monaco. That was Freeze there, but Vince Freeze is doing a great job. Uh, well, not really that time. He's having a bit of trouble with the uh, Do It For Dale Jr. car. However, he does get the position passed, and now has to try and chase down Noah Hart, who opened up a big lead, who got around Fordale a lot easier than uh, Freeze did. 
Noah Hart would bring it down pit road, as would Vince Freeze and Fitzwater, Jacob Hart, and a couple other drivers. I believe, actually, the 83 stayed out a lap to uh, take over the lead of this race. And this is where uh, we're kind of expecting Eric Monaco to really want to leg somebody up here. They should be able to make it on pit strategy, at least. So we're going to see how quickly the Noah Hart team is going to be pit stop-wise. And oh my gosh, they are so much quicker. So much quicker than the 50 car there. Way, way quicker there. Actually, uh, somehow Fitzwater got by Jacob Hart there. I think Hart maybe had some issues getting on pit road, but... As here comes, uh, will Eric Monaco be bringing it down pit road this time? I wonder, as Monaco kind of maneuvers these back sec the back section of the course here. Second position is right now, I believe, Madeline Myatt, with third being Noah Hart. So everybody except those two drivers have hit it already. Oh, DJ Kur or Mean Ratzenberger's in. I thought that was Curtis for a second there. Ooh, Lamas with more trouble on track as well. He uh, might have had a tire going down. Here comes the 83 into the pits, Eric Monaco. And here comes the 91, I'm guessing, into the pits as well. Yes, she does. In the Lexus Team Canada car, it would be great to see Madeline Myatt here winning one of the first of the two Canadian rounds we've got of the season. As uh, now we're looking for where Noah Hart is in comparison to where Monaco is going to be. And I think Mon Hart's going to have a big lead here, but I think Monaco might be... Monaco's already in his pit stall, so... See how quick the Silver Speed Brigade is in comparison, because I'm thinking he might get out in front of Freeze. Monaco might. And, uh... I don't know how fast the pit road speed is here, but... Down the track, there goes Hart, there's Monaco. And Monaco is going to get Freeze, I think, or it's going to be close between Monaco and Freeze. Very close between Monaco and Freeze! Here they go, they're side by side going down to the next hairpin, kind of going through this little alleyway section that's way narrower than the rest of the track. And oh boy, that's a lot closer than I thought it would be. Freeze is going to get the spot here, but Monaco is right there. Jacob Hart has fallen behind Fitzwater. Madeline Mike gets in front of DJ Curtis, and uh, Ryan hopped as well. Oh, hopped late on the brakes there. Kind of gives uh, DJ Curtis a bit of a bumper there. As the race continued, Zachary Fitzwater and um, Jacob Hart would end up begin fighting with each other for position again here, as these two drivers are kind of aggressive with each other. Uh, a little bit of contact between them caused uh, Hart to get a little bit of front end damage on that car as they go around this track again here, as Vince Freeze is beginning to close in little by little, about a full second there, that lap, on Noah Hart, so... Vince Freeze is trying to make a charge towards the end of this race to maybe win it. As uh, third on back is actually pretty close to seventh or eighth, really. Pretty close with Spencer in ninth. And Vince Freeze is really closing in on Noah Hart here. Hart is having some hard times handling that car behind Ratzenberger. And that's going to be very difficult for him as this race keeps going through its cycles here as Vince Freeze is really closing in here. As you can see how close he's gotten. He was 5.5 seconds back a couple laps ago, and now he is within, well, not within striking distance yet, but he will be within striking distance if he keeps up this pace in a couple laps. This is also with Noah Hart in heavy laps traffic as well coming up. He's got Ratzenberger in front of him. Ooh, they get, there's some good battles back there a little further. That's a Jacob Hart and Madeline Mayan doing battle. We're going to take a look at this here quick. I saw this one starting, and I'm like, man, that's going to be a good battle. As Madeline Mike gets the outside of the corner, and she blasts her way by Jacob Hart. And within another couple laps, Vince Freeze is on J Noah Hart for the lead of this race here at Edmonton. Around this track is a very... Getting around this track in a clean and safe way isn't exactly the hardest thing to do, but trying to do it competitively is. So, oh, Vince Freeze got a little bit of front end damage somewhere. Oh, here we go. This could be a... He's setting up that outside move here. Freeze is... Oh, boy. This is the outside move that everybody's been making coming out of that last hairpin. And this is the kind of racing that we expect here. Here they go. Down towards... The hairpin again here. I think Freeze is going to get this lead here. Because watch how he'll gun it out of the corner. 
And now we've got a new leader. Vince Freeze once again takes the lead of the race. As now Noah Hart's got to fight back now. However, on the next lap, Noah Hart would have the outside for the hairpin. So Noah Hart's going to try and get his lead back almost immediately. He dives up the outside and then guns it out of the corner. So Noah Hart takes it back. So this is thrilling racing here at this track. Oh, it looks like Jacob Hart continues his tumble down the order as Ryan Hopp is trying to get by him. There's contact. Hart goes off the road and into the tires. He saw the move coming from Hopped and gets taken out because of it. Yeah, this one's all on Jacob Hart. He sees Ryan Hopp coming and realizes the outside's the best place to go, so he cuts over and Hopped wasn't going to give him the spot and around goes Jacob Hart into the tire wall. Hart would go out, I would believe, go out of the race or at least require a toe back. Noah Hart would get by Mean Ratzenberger here, and that's what he needed to do there, as Vince Freeze has struggled with some of the lap traffic before. And Hart is setting some pretty quick times, as he knows that now um, Ratzenberger is right there now. Or that not Ratzenberger, that Freeze has pulled right up to him once before, so it's all up to Noah Hart to see if he can get through this race still without making mistakes. Nick Pericles started all the way back in 17th. He's up to 9th. A great showing by Pericles to get up through this field here. Really excited to see that out of Pericles. And Freeze would have a bit of trouble getting by his teammate here. And that allows Noah Hart to open up a bigger lead here at this track. So this is where things are getting mighty interesting. Again, but oh, Hart messes up that corner there. And if uh, uh, Freeze got a better run through that corner then. However, on the last lap, it was becoming very clear that Noah Hart really didn't have much of a challenge as uh, Freeze got really annoyed with his teammate Ratzenberger there. Monaco is solidly in third with Fitzwater fourth. We go down the order here, Jacob Hart being out of the race, that kind of really hurt him there. As a little further back, we've got some pretty close racing here, but Noah Hart's only got two more corners to go in this race. And now... Heading down towards the hairpin for the last time, Noah Hart, who's had a miserable start to the season, is now only got one more corner to go here at Edmonton, and he's won his first day at Arkansas Elite Series race of the year. Comes out of the final quarter, Noah Hart guns the throttle for the last time in this race. He will win the Arkansas Elite Series race here at Edmonton. Round nine of the season goes to Noah Hart there. Uh, it's going to be second place for Vince Freeze. What could have been if he didn't get held up by his teammate there. Third place for Eric Monaco. Great to see Monaco on the podium as well. Let's take a look at your full finishing results. But before we do, I will just say Noah Hart accidentally hit the pit wall coming back to the pits. I think he was celebrating so much that he hit the pit wall coming back. And uh, actually, Fitzwater would clobber into him, so that wasn't good for him. But yep, yeah, Noah Hart's going to be read as accident, probably. So Noah Hart, after clobbering the end of the pit wall, has won the race here. Vince Freeze, second. Eric Monica, third. Fitzwater, fourth. Matty Myatt, fifth. Ryan Hopped, sixth. Great recovery drive by Hopped, especially after not qualifying for Monaco. Seventh for Spencer. Eighth for Nick Pericles. Ninth for uh, DJ Curtis. 10th for Roman Rahal, 11th for Tauger, 12th for Vanderpesh, 13th for Fiegel, 14th for Perkins, 15th for Irwin, 16th for Thaber, 17th, excuse me, for Rudavara, 18th for Hashimoto, 19th for Turner, 20th for Lamas, 21st for Shepard, 22nd for Ratzenberger, 23rd for Fordale, and then Jacob Hart, Kenny Myatt, um, Scott Roush, Maverick Force and Benoit Lothar Ravine all fell out of the race. Hart and Myatt will get points for how far they made it through the race. But um, with that being said, oh, and there's one other car, Tanya Jackwater also did not finish the race. So with that being said, let's take a look at your points and the, uh, the well, we don't really need to look at the RSOA Cup because there's only been one race on it so far. So after the round of Edmonton, um, it is now Cody Lamas with uh, only a little point lead, only a 12-point lead over Vince Freeze. But after that, there's no one near them, actually, is that's going to screw up there, isn't it? And no, it's not, actually. So, yeah. Um, so, Sean Perkins is a number of positions back. DJ Curtis has worked his way up the order a bit there. Madeline Myatt also up towards the top of the grid. Biggest losers so far have been Kenny Myatt the last couple of weeks. 
has dropped out. Noah Hart actually gained a bunch there. Um, Kenny Mai with one point at Edmonton leaving at a trek where he thought he could do really well at. Vanderpesh also doing really well here, trying to make a championship comeback here. And like I said, in two races times, the American 700. So uh, we go next week, and then two weeks after that, we've got the American 700 for 4th of July weekend. So um, you could still make up 50 points at that event as well. And I believe we might not even have any cars going home. We might have some cars going home, but we might not. It depends on how many extra cars we have, because right now we only have 41 cars entered, and we will start 42. Uh, after Kenny Mai, you got Jesse Turner, who surprisingly is now second in rookie standings right now. I didn't exactly expect Jesse Turner to be there, but I guess he is. Uh, Alexander Spencer um, in a little further back there. Aiden Shepard, Jacob Hart, a number of other drivers that you go down the order here. Um, at this point, still none of the bottom four teams that came in late have passed anybody in the points yet. However, I think that might change next week uh, when we head, back, head up to Colorado. I think that might change, but I'm not sure, though. With that being said, uh, we will see you next time.